Lass uns mal gebeten. Dear Father in heaven, Lieber Vater im Himmel, Lord, we give you great thanks and praise. Ja, wir geben dir große Lob und Dank. And we thank you for the things uh, that we could learn of you today. Und wir danken dir für das, was wir von dir heute lernen konnten. And that we also can now unite in evening worship. Und dass wir auch jetzt zusammenkommen können in der Abendandacht. And we ask you to please unfold your word unto us. Und wir bitten, dass du uns dein Wort uh, entfaltest. Please explain to us uh, more fully Revelation 17. Bitte erkläre uns auf völliger Weise Offenbarung 17. And we thank you that you uh, have always some more understanding in store for us. Und ich, wir danken dir, dass du immer noch mehr Verständnis für uns parat hältst. And we ask and pray in Jesus' name. Und wir bitten und beten in Jesu Namen. Amen. 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 Okay, so let's turn to our Bibles to Revelation chapter 17. Gehen wir in unseren Bibeln zu Offenbarung 17. And we looked at chapter 16, the plagues and also the battle of Armageddon, the recent studies. Wir haben Kapitel 16, die Klagen und der Kampf von Armageddon in maligen Studien angeschaut. And now we turn to 17. Jetzt wenden wir uns Kapitel 17 zu. It says, es sagt, Verse 1, And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great hall that sitteth upon many waters. Okay, so what is John shown here? So what has John here shown? The judgment on the great hall, right? Das Gericht über die große Hall. And she sits upon many waters. Sie sitzt auf vielen Wasser. Okay, and <coughs> it's one of the angels with the vials, right? Das ist eine von den Engeln mit den Schalen. So, what do we understand? Which angel is it? So, was verstehen wir? Welche Engel ist das? The seventh plague where she gets punished. Must be this. Yes, exactly. Okay. This is the seventh angel where she is bestraft. So just, this is the seventh plague. Just go back to chapter 16. Look at this. So, gehen wir zurück zu Kapitel 16. Schauen das an. Let's read verses 17 to 19. Wir lesen die Versen 17 bis 19. It says, and the seventh angel poured out his vial into the air, and there came a great voice out of the temple of heaven from the throne, saying, It is done. And there were voices and thunders and lightnings, and there was a great earthquake. Such as was not, not since men were upon the earth, so mighty an earthquake and so great. And the great city was divided into three parts, and the cities of the nations fell. And great Babylon came in remembrance before God to give unto her the cup of the wine of the fierceness of his wrath. Okay, so here we can see uh, Babylon receives the wrath. Under the seventh plague, right? So here can we see that Babylon the Zorn under the seventh plague, seventh plague, erhält. Okay, so therefore, when the angel comes to show the judgment, he wants to show the judgment of the seventh plague. Okay. So when the angel comes to show the judgment of the seventh plague, he wants to show the judgment of the seventh plague. Okay. Okay. But uh, now let's uh, continue verse two. Aber lesen wir jetzt Kapitel 17 Vers 2. With whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast, full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. All right, so yeah, we looked at this chapter already in conjunction with chapter 13 when we studied it. Wir haben diesen Kapitel okay. bereits angeschaut im Zusammenhang mit Kapitel 13, als wir da durchgingen. Ja, you remember? Konntet ihr erinnern? Let's go back to chapter 13. Okay, you think here? Zu Kapitel 13, halte den Platz hier. Because here John also sees this beast coming up. Und hier Johannes sieht auch diesen Tier, der heraufkommt. And let's read verses 1 to 3. Und lesen die Versen 1 bis 3. It says, And I stood upon the sand of the sea, and I saw a beast rise up 
out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. So he sees now the beast coming up out of the sea. Yes? Er sieht diesen Tier, wie es aus dem Meer heraufkommt. And when does the beast come up out of the sea? Und wann kommt diesen Tier aus dem Meer herauf? At the Sunday law, right? Sonntagsgesetz. Historically, 538. Historisch am 538. Yes, so it comes up here. Kommt hier herauf. And then you have 1798. And this is where John is standing, right? This is here where Johannes stood. So the deadly wound is inflicted. So where the tödliche Wunde ausgemetzt ist. Because it says now in verse 2 and 3. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion. And the dragon gave him his power and his seat and great authority. So here we can see how is he seeing the, the beasts. So here can we see how he sees the tiere. Backwards, right? Rückwärts. Yeah, because in Daniel 7, the same beasts are described, but in the exact opposite order. Okay. Seven Tieren werden beschrieben, aber in der entgegengesetzte Reihenfolge. The lion, bear, the leopard, the Löwe, the bear, the leopard, and the dragon. And the Drache. Okay, and John looks backwards, right? Johannes schaut rückwärts darauf. And then it says in verse 3. Dann sagt es in Vers 3. And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed, and all the world wondered after the beast. Yes? So, he sees the deadly wound. So, er sieht der tödliche Wunde. But what happens to the deadly wound? Aber was geschieht mit der Todeswunde? It's healed. Es wird geheilt. So, hier, you have deadly wound. Hier hast du den Tö Todeswunde. Und hier deadly wound healed. Und hier ist der Wunde geheilt. Okay. So, and we saw, um, then the next verses, they speak about the second Sunday law, right? Wir haben gesehen, denn die folgenden Versen sprechen über diese zweite Sonntagsgesetz. Okay, but you can take still the principle of these verses and apply them also to the first Sunday. Aber du kannst den Prinzipien von diesen Versen denn nehmen, aber auch an den ersten Sonntagsgesetz anwenden. Okay, because the first Sunday law typifies the second. Yes. Also der erste Sonntagsgesetz, den zweiten vorausschaut. And when you also go to verse 11. Und wenn wir auch zu Vers 11 gehen. <coughs> It says, And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. So where where is he seeing the, the this beast coming up like a lamb? So wo sieht er diesen Tier, der wie ein Lamm heraufkommt? Yeah, when the deadly wound is inflicted, right? Hier wo der Todeswunde so, ausgemetzt wird. Lamb. Comes up. So the lamb comes herauf. But here, where was it speaking like a dragon? Aber wo spricht es wie eine Drache? Sunday. Sunday. Okay. Sonntagsgesetz. Okay. So, Revelation. Um, 13 verse 11 is the same as Revelation 13 verse 3, right? Offenbarung 13, 11 is the same as Offenbarung 13, 3. Okay, and then it speaks like a dragon, and then it's explained how he will deceive the whole earth. Yes. Spricht wie eine Drache, dann wird es erklärt, wie er die ganze Erde verführe. And if you remember, we looked at that all those that dwell on the earth will be deceived. Yes. Und wenn ihr erinnert, wir haben gelesen, dass all diejenigen, die auf die Erde weilen, werden verführt. For those that dwell in heaven, they will be persecuted. Aber diejenigen, die in den Himmel weilen, werden verfolgt. Okay, so 
when you go back to uh, the earlier verses in Revelation 13. So let's go to verse 3 again. So gehen wir zu Vers 3 in Offenbarung 13. It says, and I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed, and all the world wandered after the beast. Yes? So, and this is what we paralleled with Revelation 17, verse 8. Und hier ist, was wir parallel gelegt haben mit Offenbarung 17, Vers 8. So, keep your finger on Revelation 13. Let's go to Revelation 17 again. Unter dem Platz in Offenbarung 13, geht wieder zu Offenbarung 17. And then verse 8. Und Vers 8. It says, The beast that thou sawest was and is not. Where was the beast and where is it not? So, war, wo war der Tier und wo ist es nicht? Yeah. It was, right? War. And then where he says, is not. Da, wo steht, ist es nicht. But then it says, Aber dann sagt es, and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit. Where does it ascend? Den Abgrund herauskommt. It speaks like a dragon. Okay. Okay. Wie eine Drache spricht. Der Wund hier. Yes. Wo der Todeswunde geheilt ist. And go into perdition. Okay. Verderben. That would be the... Punishment at the end, yes? Die Bestrafung am Ende. So when you go now back to, oh no, sorry, let's continue the verse. So, lesen wir weiter. And they that dwell on the earth shall wander, whose names were not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world, when they behold the beast that was and is not and yet is. So where do they wander after the beast? So wo wandern sie den Tier nach? At the sun alone, right? Sonntagsgesetz. When it is again. Wenn okay. es wieder ist. Yes? So when you go back to Revelation 13, verse 3, that's, it says the very same thing. So here, show wonder. So here, we werden den Tier nach wonder. Verse 3. And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed. And all the world wandered after the beast. Yes? So when the deadly wound is sealed, all the world will wander after the beast. Okay. Then jump down to verse 5. And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies, and power was given unto him to continue forty and two months. So this is now a 1260, right? 42 months. It's okay. 1260, 42 months. And he opened his mouth and blasphemy against God to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. Against whom? Gegen wen? Those that dwell in heaven. Okay. Because it says when you're born again, come up, come here. 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 Okay. Verse seven. Verse 7. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And power was given him of all kindreds and tongues and nations. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb, slain from the foundation of the world. So how many will worship him? Wie viele werden ihm anbeten? All that dwell on all the earth, okay? All the beasts. Yeah, all the beasts, exactly. All okay. the Those that have not received the new birth, they will worship the beast. Okay. Like seeks, like. Okay. If you are a beast, you will worship the beast, okay? Okay. So, verse 9 and 10. Verse 9 and 10. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with a sword must be killed with a sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Okay, so where is he now slain with a sword? So, wo schlachtet er mit dem Schwert? Wo wird er schlagen mit dem Schwert? Wo wird er mit dem Schwert erschlagen? In the deadly wound. In the deadly wound, right? Bei der Todeswunde. Yes. Amen. Because we saw that we want sealed and then he that killeth with the sword shall be killed with the sword. Okay. Wir sehen, dass der Todeswunde geheilt ist und der, der mit dem Schwert 
um, tötet wird, mit dem Schwert getötet wird. So another deadly wound. So hier yeah. wieder ein totes Wund. Alright. So, <coughs> having understood this, now let's go back to Revelation 17. Da wir das verstanden haben, gehen wir zur Offenbarung 17 wieder. <coughs> And let's um, begin in verse 1, 2, 3 again. It says, And there came one of the seven angels which had the seven vials and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great hall that sitteth upon many waters, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast, full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. So he's carried where? Wo wird er getragen? To the wilderness. Ja, in the wilderness, according to Revelation 12, verse 6 and 14, what is it? Die Wüste, gemäß Offenbarung 12, Vers 6 und 14, was ist das? The 12, 6, 6, right? 6. Okay. <coughs> So John, just like in Revelation 13, he stands here, right? So Johannes, genauso wie in Offenbarung 13, steht er hier. And he is now getting shown the beast that was, okay? Und ihm wird gezeigt, der Tier, der war. Okay, but where he stands, it is not, yes? Aber da, wo er steht, es ist nicht. Deadly wound. Der Todeswunde. Okay, so let me just mark it down. So here it's was. So hier war es. Is not. Hier ist es nicht. Hier shall ascend. Und hier wird wieder heraufkommen. And it goes into perdition. Und hier geht es ins Verderben. Let's go to. So we read verse 8, okay? Vers 8 gelesen. It says, The beast was, is not, shall ascend, and shall go into perdition. And now verse 9. And, jetzt Vers 9. and here is the mind which hath wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman sitteth. And there are seven kings, five are fallen, and one is, and the other is not yet come. And when he cometh, he must continue a short space. Right? So, where John is standing here in 1798, how many fallen? Johannes here steht, 1798, wie viele sind gefallen? Five, okay. Fünf. So, here, hmm. how do I describe this now? Okay, I'll just mark here. Just like this. Okay. These are five, right? So these here are five. And now one is. So one is. And the other. The other. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, let's continue. It says in verse 11. In verse 11. And the beast that thou, that was and is not, even he is the eighth, and is of the seven, and goeth into perdition. And the ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings, which have received no kingdom as yet. So when John is standing here, so it's 12. Also when Johannes here steht, what is with the ten kings? Was ist mit den zehn Königen? 
They have not yet received the kingdom. Okay. Noch kein Königreich erhalten. Because they are the ones that are not yet come. Okay. Die sind diejenigen, die noch nicht gekommen sind. Okay. So here it says one is and the other is not yet come, but he will come here. Okay. Er sagt, eine ist, aber der andere ist noch nicht gekommen. Er wird hier kommen. Verse 12. So, and the ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings which have received no kingdom as yet, but receive power as kings one hour with the beast. These have one mind and shall give their power and strength unto the beast. So, what do they do? So, was tun sie? Verse 13. And they give their power to the beast. Okay. Ihr macht den Tier. And then verse 14. Vers 14. These shall make war with the Lamb, and the Lamb shall overcome them, for he is Lord of Lords and King of Kings, and they that are with him are called and chosen and faithful. So, what will they do? So, was werden sie tun? Make war with the Lamb. Okay. Krieg führen mit dem Lamb. Okay, in some studies ago, we looked at that's actually speaking about the Battle of Armageddon, right? Vor einigen Studien haben wir angeschaut, da spricht über den Kampf vom Armageddon. But is the Battle of Armageddon also typified in the Sunday law? Aber ist der Kampf vom Armageddon auch in den Sonntagsgesetz vorausgeschattet? Yes, right? Okay. So, you have this also illustrated here, right? Das ist auch hier dargestellt. Okay, now let's go, let's continue verse 15. So, Vers 15. And he saith unto me, the waters which thou sawest, where the horse sitteth, are peoples, and multitudes, and nations, and tongues. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. For God hath put in their hearts to fulfill his will, and to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast, until the words of God shall be fulfilled. Okay, so what happened at the end? Also, was geschah am Ende? How does this beast go into perdition? Wie geht diesen Tier ins Verderben? Civil war. Yeah, civil war, right? Bürgerkrieg. So the ten horns will rise up and eat her flesh and burn her with fire. Die yes? zehn Horn Hörner werden heraufkommen, ihrem Fleisch ähm, essen und sie mit Feuer verbrennen. Where do we see? In which other story do we see that the flesh of the woman gets eaten up? Welche weitere Geschichte sehen wir, wo der Fleisch der Frau aufgegessen wird? Jezebel. Jezebel, right? Isabel. Okay, keep your finger here. So, halte den Platz hier. Let's go to 2 Kings chapter 9. Also, 2. Könige Kapitel 9. Vers 19. Yes, in Revelation 19. Yes. Let's go. So, 2 Kings chapter 9. And we also recently looked at this. This is when Jehu came. Okay. Yeah, the slayer. Yes. Let's just remind ourselves a little bit. Let's go to verse 14 and to 15. Okay, let's go to verse 14 and 15. It says, So Jehu, the son of Jehoshaphat, the son of Nimshi conspired against Joram. Now Joram had kept Ramath Gilead, he and all Israel, because of Hazael, king of Syria. But King Joram was returned to be healed in Jezreel of the wounds which the Syrians had given him when he fought with Hazael, king of Syria. So where was he to recover? So, wo sollte er sich erholen? Jezreel. Okay. Jezreel. And what did we just two, three days ago, study about Jezreel. Das haben wir gerade vor ein paar Tagen über Jezreel studiert. Battle of Armageddon. Armageddon. Okay. So, and if you remind, remember, Jehu comes here and he kills the king of the north and the king of the south, right? Wenn ihr daran denkt, dass Jehu kommt hier und tötet König des Nordens und König des Südens. All in one day. In ein Tag. But also, when you just go further down, aber auch wenn wir weiterhin unterhalten, to verse 30, bis Vers 30, and when Jehu was come to Je Jezreel, Jezebel heard of it. So he also comes to Jezreel now. Okay? Er kommt zu Jezreel. Jezebel heard of it. And she painted her face and tired her head and looked out at a window. Yes? 
What did she do again? Astarzi. Yes, put on makeup. Okay. Sie hat sich geschminkt. Okay. Verse 31. Vers 31. And as Jehu entered in at the gate, she said, Had Zimri peace? Who slew his, his master? And he lifted up his face to the window and said, Who is on my side? Who? And they looked out to him two or three eunuchs. And he said, Throw her down. So they threw her down, and some of her blood was sprinkled on the wall and on the horses, and he trod her underfoot. And when he was come in, he did eat and drink, and said, Go, see now this cursed woman, and bury her, for she is the king's daughter. And they went to bury her, but they found no more of her than the skull and the feet and the palms of her hands. Wherefore they came again and told him, and he said, This is the word of the Lord, which he spake by his servant Elijah the Tishbite, saying, In the portion of Jezreel shall dogs eat the flesh of Jezebel, and the carcass of Jezebel shall be as dung upon the face of the field in the portion of Jezreel, so that they shall not say, This is Jezebel. So who ate her flesh? So who had her flesh gegessen? The same dogs that yeah. compass Jerusalem. Exactly. Okay. The same Hunde, die Jerusalem umzingen. Yes. Because the dogs are the Gentiles. Gentiles. Uh, yes. The Hunde sind den Heidenvölkern. Yes. Brother Mark rightly said it's the same dogs that compassed Jerusalem. Yes. Brother Mark said the rechte Weise sind die selbe Hunde, die Jerusalem umzingen. Now let's go to okay. yeah, Psalm 22. So Psalm 22. Yeah. In a sense that it's the Gentiles, okay? In dem Sinne ist es die Heiden. Because these dogs that compass Jerusalem, which power is it? Diese Hunde, die Jerusalem umzingeln, welche Macht ist es? Yes, it's the ten kings, die zehn Könige. but the ones that side with the north, right? Aber diejenigen, well, die mit They're all together. Yeah, okay. That, that's they're, true. they're all there. It's just they rebel. Some of them rebel. Yes, that's okay. Yes, that's right. Okay, so, and the ten kings of the south, they are deceived, right, yeah. by the north, they, they join them. Okay. Königen, den Süden unter den zehn Königen sind verführt von den Norden yes, unter den zehn Königen. Okay, so, now let's look at Psalms 22. So, schauen wir Psalm 22. Yeah, just read, uh, read verse 1. Vers 1. It says, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Why art thou so far from helping me and from the words of my roaring? So... When did Christ say this? So, when had Christus dies gesagt? At the cross, right? Kreuz. Okay, and jump down to verse 16. Verse 16. For dogs have compassed me, the assembly of the wicked have enclosed me, they pierced my hands and my feet. Right? So, they pierced his hands and feet on the cross. Yes? Seine Händen und Füße durchbohrt am Kreuz. This is the, the dogs that compassed him about. Das sind okay. die Hunde, die ihn umgeben haben. Yes. Okay, so, um, and they are the ones also that eat the flesh of Jezebel. Okay. Auch diejenigen, die das Fleisch Isabel essen. At least those that rebel at the end, okay, the southern ones. Zumindest diejenigen, die am Ende rebellieren, den Süden darunter. Okay, everybody follow so far? Kann jeder so weit folgen? Okay. Now let's go also to 2 Chronicles chapter 20. Gehen wir auch zu 2. Chronik 20. And this is when um, the threefold union comes together against Judah. Dreifaltige Union gegen Judah aufkommt. And let's read. Uh, Yeah, let's read verse 10. It says, And now, behold, the children of Ammon and Moab and Mount Seir, whom thou wouldest not let Israel invade, when they came out of the land of Egypt, but they turned from them and destroyed them not. Behold, I say, how they reward us to come to cast us out of thy possession, which thou hast given us to inherit. 
So who comes now against Judah here? So we come against Judah here off. It's also in verse 1. Yeah. It's Ammon, Moab and Edom. Mount Seir yeah. is Edom. Okay. It's Ammon, Moab and Berg Seir is Edom. Uh, let me just show you quickly that Mount Seir is Edom. So this is in verse 1. Mm. This one. No, that doesn't say here about months here in this one. No, no. It says, it came to pass after this also that the children of Moab and the children of Ammon and with them other besides the Ammonites came against Joseph yeah. The others are months here. In verse 23 it doesn't say Edom. Um, in verse 10 it says Mount Seir is part of the ones that come up, right? Okay. So, verse 23 will come soon. Let's first look at Mount Seir. Okay, let's go to Genesis 36, 8. Keep your pen so, here. That's the book Mose 38, 8. And also verse 9. Genesis 38, uh, 36, sorry, verse 8 and 9. Erst Mose 36, Vers 8 und 9. It says, Thus dwelt Esau in Mount Seir. Where did he dwell? Wo weit er? Mount Seir. Esau is Edom. Uh, so the Edomites were the descendants of Esau, okay? The Edomitan waren die Nachfolger Esau. And these are the generations of Esau, the father of the Edomites in Mount Seir. Okay, so Mount Seir is Edom. Yes? Mount Seir is Edom. Everybody sees this? Can you do that Go now to Daniel 11. And we to Daniel 11. Keep your finger on 2 Chronicles, please. Unter den Platz in 2 Chronicles. Verse 41. It says, He, the papacy, okay, he shall enter also into the glorious land, and many shall be overthrown, but these shall escape out of his hand, even Edom and Moab and the chief of the children of Ammon. So whom do we have here? So whom have we here beschrieben? Same three. Same three, right? Same three. We have Edom, which is Mount Seir. So Edom, which is Berg Seir. Moab and Ammon. Okay. Moab and Ammon. And they illustrate in this verse those that come out of the threefold union. Yes. In diesen Vers stellen sie diejenigen, die aus die dreifaltigen Union entkommen. Yes. They're all at mm -hmm. one time. Part of it. Yes. Part of God's people. Sie waren yeah, alle all, yes. mal Teil von Gottes Volk gewesen. Yes, because Edom comes from Esau. Yes. Edom kommt von Esau. And Esau was Jacob's brother. Yes. Esau war der Bruder von Jakob. And Ammon and Moab, Moab come from? And Ammon and Moab kommen woher? Come from Lot. Von okay. Lot. So they also linked to God's people. Okay. Sie sind alle mit Gottes Volk verbunden. Okay, but now let's go back to 2 Chronicles 20. Gehen wir zurück zu 2. Chronik 20. So the threefold union comes now against God's people here. Okay. So die dreifaltige Union kommen gegen Gottes Volk hier auf. But God says. Aber Gott sagt. Verse 16 to 17. Die Verse 16 und 17. Tomorrow go ye down against them. Behold, they come up by the cliff of Ziz, and ye shall find them at the end of the brook, before the wilderness of Jeruel. Ye shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourselves, stand ye still, and see the salvation of the Lord with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. Fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. What is the Lord telling them? Don't fear, I will fight for you. Okay? 
Fürchtet euch nicht, ich werde für euch kämpfen. Says, you shall not fight, fight in this battle. Set yourselves, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Okay? Vers 17. So let's go, keep your finger here, let's go to Exodus chapter 14. Halte den Platz hier, gehen zu 2. Mose 14. Be still and know that I am God. Yes. Exodus 14. 2. Mose 14. Verse 13 to 14. Die Verse 13 und 14. This is when they were standing at the Red Sea. Okay. Hier standen sie am Roten Meer. And who came against them? Und wer kam gegen sie auf? The Threefold Union, right? Die Dreifaltige Union. Gog came to bring them back. Okay. Gog kam, um sie zurückzuholen. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Which he will show to you today. Yeah, same language, right? Same language. Yes? Okay. For the Egyptians whom you have seen today, you shall see them again no more forever. The Lord shall fight for you and she, you shall hold your peace. Okay? Same as we read in 2 Chronicles. Okay? And what happened then to Pharaoh? And what happened then to Pharaoh? Yeah, was slain by the seas, right? Wurde von den Meeren geschlachtet. Okay. And the seas are the? Die Meere sind? The nations. The nations, right? Nationen. Okay. So, Pharaoh would be which king? So, Pharaoh wäre denn welcher König? He's Gog, yes? Er ist Gog. So, he's in league with a woman. So, okay. Er ist in Kahoots mit der Frau. Okay. And then the nations will rise up against Okay. Yes. Die Nation gegen ihm auf, ähm, okay, so let's go back to 2 Chronicles 20. Gehen zurück zu 2. Chronik 20. So the Lord said basically, uh, you stand here still, see the salvation of the Lord. Der Herr sagt, sei still und schaut die Erlösung des Herrn zu. And he said, tomorrow go down. Okay. Er sagt, Vers 16, morgen geht hinab. Now let's jump down to verse 22. Jetzt Vers 22. Because they went then down and they sang praises to the Lord. And it says, And when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set ambushments against the children of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, which were come against Judah, and they were smitten. For the children of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Mount Seir, utterly to slay and destroy them. And when they had made an end of the inhabitants of the ear, everyone helped to destroy another. So whom did they slay first? So wem schlachteten sie zuerst? Yeah, the woman, right? Die Frau. Because Edom, you can show, is the papacy. Okay? Edom, du kannst das zeigen, ist der Papst. Yeah, Obadiah and also in Daniel 11 and also other stories. Yeah, you can Obadiah show and auch in Daniel 11 and auch anderen Geschichten kann man es auch zeigen. Okay, so... The papacy gets slain yeah, by the beast, uh, by the false prophet and by the ten kings. Okay. So, der Papst wird geschlachtet durch den falschen Prophet und den zehn Königen. But then they destroy each other. Okay. Aber dann danach zerstören sie einander. All right. So let's go back to Revelation chapter 17. So, lass uns so zu Offenbarung 17 gehen. Everybody can follow so far. Kann jeder so weit folgen? Now let's go back to chapter 17. So, Kapitel 17 zurück. Okay. So, my question is now, for instance, the story of Jezebel. Yes. So, meine Frage ist jetzt, also zum Beispiel in der Geschichte von Isabel. Uh, this was the Battle of Armageddon, right? It wasn't just real. This okay. war der Kampf um Armageddon. Das fand in Israel statt. Okay, so this is an illustration of the Battle of Armageddon. So yes. This is a Darstellung of the Kampf in Armageddon. But where is the true Battle of Armageddon taking place? Wo findet der wahre Kampf in Armageddon statt? Right here, right? Gerade hier. Okay, so and this is where the the woman. And the beast is fully 
punished. Okay. Und hier ist es, wo der Frau und der Tier vollständig bestraft wird. And this is where really this verse here takes place that they come and eat her flesh and burn her with fire. Und hier okay. ist, wo diesen Vers wahrlich stattfindet, wo sie kommen und fressen ihren Fleisch, Fleisch und brennen mm -hmm. sie mit Feuer. Mm -hmm. really do it at the end also there. Yes. But She's she comes back, right? Yes. Yes. Well, she turns in the Sonntags, but she comes back. So let's go to this quote that I just posted to you. So we go to a quote that I just posted to you. It's uh, from GC 655. <coughs> and this speaks now about the time of the seventh plague, okay? Da spricht über die Zeit der siebte Plage. You can just look, look it up for yourself. It's in the context where God's people are delivered. Okay. Ihr könnt das selber nachforschen. Es ist in der Zeitperiode, in der Zusammenhang, wo Gottes Volk ähm, befreit wird. Okay. It says, Ministers and people see that they have not sustained the right relation to God. They see that they have rebelled against the author of all just and righteous law. The setting aside of the divine precepts gave rise to thousands of springs of evil, discord, hatred, iniquity, until the earth became one vast field of strife, one sink of corruption. This is the view that now appears to those who rejected truth and chose to cherish error. The language can express no, no, language. Oh, sorry. no language can express the longing which the disobedient and disloyal feel for that which they have lost forever, eternal life. Men whom the world has worshipped for their talents and eloquence now see the, these things in their true light. They realize what they have forfeited by transgression and they fall at the feet of those whose fidelity they have despised and derided and confess that God has loved them. So this is where the Bible says, I will make the synagogue of Satan worship at thy feet. Okay. Here is it where the Bible says, I will verursachen, that the synagogue of Satan to thy feet will be. It says it in the church to Philadelphia. It okay. says it in, in the Gemeinde to Philadelphia. <coughs> Excuse me. It goes on to say, next paragraph. Weiter, the next absatz. The people see that they have been deluded. They accuse one another of having led them to destruction, but all unite in heaping their bitterest condemnation upon the ministers. So, they turn now against whom? So, sie wenden sich gegen wen? The leaders. These false ministers, leaders. Yes? The false minister, führer. Unfaithful pastors have prophesied smooth things. They have led their hearers to make void the law of God and to persecute those who would keep it holy. Now in their despair, these teachers confess before the world their work of deception. The multitudes are filled with fury. We are lost, they cry, and you are the cause of our ruin. And they turn upon the false shepherds. The very ones that once admired them most will pronounce the most dreadful curses upon them. The very hands that once crowned them with laurels will be raised for their destruction. The swords which were to slay God's people are now employed to destroy their enemies. Everywhere there is strife and bloodshed. Okay, so <coughs> at the end, yeah, they turn against each other. Yes? So, am Ende wenden sie sich gegeneinander. Okay, <coughs> so, and I want to now make a point with that, okay? Ich möchte damit einen Punkt machen. And just, maybe just before I make the point, what happens after the thousand years? Before I das tue, what geschieht nach den thousand years? Just before the Lord sends down fire from heaven. Gerade before the Herr Feuer vom Himmel runterfallen lässt. Yeah, the same thing. They, yeah, they turn on Satan and his agents, right? Und dasselbe. Sie wenden sich gegen Satan. Yeah, they come against Jerusalem. Sie kommen zuerst gegen Jerusalem. But the Lord stops them in their track, right? Und der Herr hält sie in ihrem Bahn auf. And then they turn against each other. And then fire comes down from heaven. Dann wenden sie sich gegeneinander zu und dann Feuer kommt vom Himmel herab. Okay, so um, now the point I want to make with it. Und der Punkt, mit dem ich, äh, womit ich machen möchte, damit ist 
Yeah, that Revelation 17 must, ha must have also a, another fulfillment. Okay. Das Offenbarung 17 einen anderen Erfüllung haben muss. Okay, leading you down to where the woman is really going into perdition. Okay. Führt bis dahin, wo die Frau wahrlich ins Verderben geht. Okay. Ja. Okay, so we have this illustration we looked at, right? Es gibt diese Darstellung, die wir angeschaut haben. So John is standing here Man at the end of the first Sunday law. Hier am Ende der ersten Sonntagsgesetz. Deadly wound. Tod, tödliche Wunde. Deadly wound healed. Tödliche okay. Wunde geheilt. Goes into perdition. Geht ins Verderben. Yes. Amen. But the same pattern when we just move it down. Also dieselbe Muster, wenn wir es nur nachbewegen. Where, where would John be standing? Wo würde Johannes stehen? Yes, here, right? so here Close of probation, final review. Schluss okay. der Gnadenzeit. So, therefore, here, John is standing now. So, hier steht it. Johannes. 1798, okay. Lass uns das markieren, 1798. Then this would be... 538. Das wäre hier 538. And it says five are fallen. Seit fünf sind gefallen. One is. Ist, yes, because what time is this here? Denn welche Zeit ist das hier? The time of peace. Zeit des Friedens. <coughs> so one is is where basically pagan Rome is now ruling, right? Die eine ist es, wo heidnischen Rom regiert. But who comes back together here? Aber wer kommt hier wieder zusammen? Threefold union. Die dreifaltige right? Union. So, this would be shall ascend. Das okay. würde dann wieder heraufkommen. Deadly wound is healed. Deadly wound is healed. Wunde geheilt. Goes into perdition here. Geht right? ins Verderben hier. Yes, we see. Kann ich dir sagen? Just the same pattern, but shifted. Okay. So, denselben Muster. Because the sixth and seventh plague is the great tribulation, which is 1260. Exactly. The sixth and seventh plague is the great tribulation, which is 1260. So here, this would be also 1260. Yes. That would be here 1260. Okay. And we saw this is the 1260. Okay. We saw that this is the 1260. Okay. When you can do this with Revelation 17. And when we do this with Revelation 17, we can do it. What must be therefore with with Revelation 13? What must then with Revelation 13 be? Same principle das must. Same principle must also be there. Okay, so John sees the beast come up. So Johannes sieht der Tier, der heraufkommt. Deadly wound. Tödliche Wunde. Healed. Deadly wound healed. Tödliche Wunde geheilt. Yeah. Slain with a sword. So right? mit dem Schwert geschlachtet. Or. Forty-two months. Yes, that would be then the forty-two months. Das wäre hier die 42 Monate. Or uh, verse eleven. Oder Vers elf. Two-horned beast come up. Die zwei hörnige Tier kommt herauf. Speaks like a dragon. Spricht wie eine Drache. Okay. Luke 21. Because Luke 21, she takes Luke 21 speaking about pagan Rome. Vers 21 spricht über heidnischen Rom. And and Matthew 24 is speaking about the papacy, but she. Matthäus 24 spricht über den Papsttum, aber sie tut es mit heidnischen Rom zusammen. Und das ist der perfekte Darstellung, wenn die 144.000 in die Bergen flüchten müssen. Yes, you mean uh, Matthew 24, 15, Matthäus 24, 15 und Lukas 21, 20. So let's go there, Matthew 24. Gehen wir dahin, Matthäus 24. When you lay out Matthew 24 in its sequential order, okay? When you Matthäus 24 seine Reihenfolge nach auslegt, you have um, then verse 4, because Jesus is standing here, yes? Weil Jesus steht hier, Vers 4. He points forward to the next Sunday law, yes? Er weist auf den nächsten Sonntagsgesetz hin. So verse 4 speaks then about the Sunday law coming up, right? Verse 4 spricht über den kommenden Sonntagsgesetz. All these deceptions and then the war comes in verse 6 and all these things. Diese Verführungen, die Kriege in Vers 6 und so weiter. You remember? It goes out the temple here. Es geht aus dem Tempel hier. And then points forward to the next Sunday law here, right? Weist auf den nächsten Sonntagsgesetz hier. Okay. And then it leads you down to verse 14. Das führt zu Vers 14, ne? 
In this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Right? So it leads you down to the close of the gospel. Yes. Yeah? Für zur Schluss des Evangeliums. So that would be here, right? Das wäre hier. And then verse 15. Jetzt Vers 15. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet stand in the holy place, whoso readeth, let him understand. Then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. Yes? Therefore here you need to flee into the mountains, yes? Hier folglich musst du in den Bergen flüchten. Okay. But Sister White, she takes this verse. Aber Ellen White nimmt diesen Vers. And she's, she's applying it also to pagan Rome, und right? Und sie wendet es auch heidnischen Rome an. Yeah, because it's a parallel to Luke 21, verse 20. Das ist okay. ein Parallel zu Lukas 21, Vers 20. Let's go to Luke 21, verse 20. Gehen wir da hin. Vers 21. Okay, Luke 21, verse 20. Lukas 21, Vers 20. And also 21. 20 und 21. And when ye shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. So what must you see? So was musst du sehen? Armies. Jerusalem compassed with? Jerusalem yeah. armies. With Armeen umgeben. Who was this in the history? So wer war das in der Geschichte? Cestius. Cestius. Yes. Rome durch Cestius. Yes. So then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains, and let them which are in the midst of it depart out, and let not them that are in the countries enter there into. Yes. So it's a parallel to Matthew 24 verse 15. It's a parallel to Matthew 24 verse 15. Okay, it says here it's pagan Rome. Okay. It says here this is high Rome. Pagan Rome because the papacy is just. Yes, papacy has just received the deadly wound. It must high Christian Rome be, because the papes, the the papes, tomb had just received the deadly wound. Okay, so here is then, in this sense, a time of peace. Okay. In this sense, it is here a time of peace. Even though obviously plagues are falling on the wicked already. So, obwohl die Plagen bereits auf den Bösen fallen. And then here the deadly wound gets healed. Yes. And here, where the dead is finally healed. Okay. Um, but when you go back to Matthew 24. Wenn wir zurück zu Matthäus 24 gehen. And let's read verse 15 again. Lesen wir Vers 15 nochmal. And when ye shall, when ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet stand in the holy place, whoso readeth, let him understand. So, what does Sister White also do with this verse? So, what does Ellen White with this verse auch? I put it at the Sunday. So, I put it at the Sunday's Gesetz. Okay. So, I mean here. Does the papacy come up? So here comes the Papst herauf. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. But it's also, and what is with the Pope? It's hidden. It's hidden, right? It is also verborgen. So the Papst noch nicht gesehen. You see the lion, the bear, the leopard. Yes. We see the lion, the bear, the leopard. Yeah. So it's also an illustration that paganism is prevailing still. Okay. It is also a darstellung that the heidentum noch prevails. Vorherrschendhaft. Das ist vorherrsch, vorherrschendhaft ist. Vorherrschend. Vorherrschend ist. Vorherrschend ist. Ja. Okay, but yeah, nonetheless, Daniel 11, verse 31 says. So trotz Daniel 11, Vers 31. When you just go there. Gehen wir dahin. Says, an arm shall stand on his part, and they shall pollute the sanctuary of strength, and shall take away the daily, and they shall place the abomination that maketh desolate. Right. So, what is it speaking about here? Historically, the papacy. The papacy. Right? Yes. So, I mean, here we can see the papacy, right? So here can we the papacy see. But here, that was always our struggle. How is the papacy shown here? Because it says a deadly wound, right? You, you das war immer unser yeah. Kampf, denn wie kann der Papst hier gezeigt werden, weil hier ist der Todeswund. You, you won't see the papacy. No, you yeah, you don't, you don't see him. Right? You see the Papst. But when you go to Revelation 12, but when we go to Revelation 12, because 
it's perfect for bones there, when Christ comes out the belly, he flees in the wilderness and it says it's for 1260. So it shows you again that the 1260 is the full. Mm -hmm. Yes, amen. So when Christus aus den Bauch herauskommt and flüchtet in die Wüste, und das ist die 1260. Uh, let's go to Revelation 12. Okay. So it's just the same pattern we see in the Sunday. Mm -hmm. So Revelation 12. Yeah, we understand. Yeah, the first verses speak about this year, right? Die ersten Versen sprechen hierüber. Christ gets born. Christi wird geboren. The woman flees in the wilderness. Die yes. Frau flüchtet in die Wüste. But then it's repeated here. Aber dann yes. wird es hier wiederholt. So let's read verse 7. So lesen wir Vers 7. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels, and prevailed not. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before God day and night. So we show that this is here. Yes? Sie haben gezeigt, dass das hier ist. When he is cast out, what is now given unto Christ? Wenn er hinausgeworfen wird, was ist Christus yes. gegeben? The kingdom, right? Königreich. Which is which trumpet? Und das ist welche Posaune? The seventh trumpet, Sie right? Posaune. Where it says, the nations were angry, thy wrath is come. Is come. Yes. Zornig, dein, um, Zorn ist gekommen. And then verse 12. And Vers 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Who is to rejoice? So where soll Those in heaven. Those in heaven. Okay. In heaven. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knows that he hath but a short time. So it's this war, which war is it again? Diese Wehe. Und welche Wehe ist das? Third war, right? Der dritte Wehe. And it comes against all those that dwell on earth. All okay. the beasts. Kommt gegen all diejenigen, die auf die Erde waren. Yes, all the beasts that have the mark of the beast, right? Und Tiere, all diejenigen, die den Malzeichen des Tieres haben. Because the seven last plagues only fall upon the wicked ones that dwell upon the earth, right? Die sieben letzten Plagen fallen nur auf die Bösen, die auf die Erde waren. Those that dwell in heaven. Diejenigen, die in Himmel waren, that have the seal of God, den Siegel Gottes haben, they will not be affected by sie it. werden nicht davon angetastet. Und dann Vers 13. Vers 13. And when the dragon saw that he was cast out unto the earth, he persecuted the woman which brought forth a manchild. So who persecutes here the woman? So wer verfolgt die Frau hier? The dragon, right? Pagan Rome. Okay. It says, and, the, and to the woman were given two wings of the great eagle, that she might fly into the wilderness, into her place, where she is nourished for a time, times, and half a time, from the face of the serpent. And the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman, that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. So, here we can see the woman now flees into the wilderness for long. So here can we see the Frau flüchtet in the Wüste. How long? 1260. 1260. All seven plagues. The whole seven plagues. Mm -hmm. The whole seven plagues. Is the, is, but, um, is the serpent not the papacy? Yes. Yeah, it doesn't matter. No, she's, she's not dead. She's no, no. It's, I mean, it starts with a dragon, but then it... Yeah, it's it, 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 That's what you're not getting. No. It's like the Sunday law. She's there, but you don't see her. That's, the, that's, the, that's what I am getting. That's why I'm making that point. It's, I'm just saying it is there, even though you don't see it. But uh, well, she must be still there, otherwise she wouldn't be able to rise up again at the sixth plane. I don't know, but I'm just saying it says it in this verse. It starts with the dragon and then it goes to the serpent. So they're both there. That's the only point I'm making. Mm. But, I, but I, I'm, I'm not so sure because I, I think we stuck it last time here. Where so the serpent comes. Das letztes Mal haben wir das hier oder markiert, wo der Schlange kommt. Just put it where it says, Lawrence. This is the end. You just put it in place, and now you're going to say it's not there. 
No, no, be, 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 because I think it's just jumping to the next way mark. Because it's the. It doesn't matter. Uh, You're saying the, tw the 1260 is marking from that point and going to the end. That's all you need to worry about. No, I mean, there are definitely illustrations that show that 1260 is this whole time period. I'm not arguing against it. But I think in this illustration, it speaks about the Great Tribulation here. Because it's the death decree where you know, the papacy wants to kill God's people. More well, like. Just follow the narrative. You've just went to Matthew 24 and you went to Luke 21. It tells you when you're to flee. He's fleeing when he comes out the belly. Mm -hmm. It's the same point. Right? So just because you might not see something, you understand, don't try and move it. Right? That's, when, that's like a human thing. Right? Just put it where it goes. Right? And we can let God explain it to us. The point is, right, when you take that 1260 and place it on the Sunday law, it's exactly the same. The Sunday law comes up, you don't see the woman, and then right at the middle there at the sixth plate, she then now manifests herself. That's exactly the same pattern as what you're seeing here. That would be verse 15, right? Manifests at the sixth plate, cast out of its mouth waters of flood when it makes a death decree. Yes. Okay. Going to so. Okay. Yes, that might be a valid explanation. So verse fourteen speaks about the whole time period, and then verse fifteen is where the death decree goes forth. Because fourteen speaks about the gesamte seven last plagues, and verse fifteen, so the sixth plague, where the death decree goes forth. Because the nation speaks through its legislative and judicial, so that's when she's come together again with the civil powers. Und Nationen sprechen durch ihre gerichtliche und gesetzgebende Einrichtungen. Und das ist, wo sie wieder mit den Zivilmächten zusammengekommen ist. Yes. Und dann Vers 16. Vers 16. And the earth helped the woman, and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood, which the dragon cast out of his mouth. That would be, that would be when the snow, when they are stopped in the track. Das wäre hier in der siebten Plage, wo sie in ihrem Bahn aufgehalten wurde. And then verse 17. Vers 17. And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. So that would be then the battle of Armageddon, right? Vers 17 wäre dann den Kampf um Armageddon. Okay. So, um, we went there to just show uh, that this is also then the 1260, okay, where the woman flees. Okay, so the, the papacy is in the background lingering, okay, but she comes up here again. Also, the Papsttum is zwar da hinter die Kulissen in dieser Zeit, aber sie kommt hier wieder auf. Also, sichtbar. Yeah, you will be fleeing from her because practically you know, even though she gets a deadly wound there, you know she's coming back, right? Also, du you werdest know. flüchten vor ihr, weil obwohl sie ein Todeswunde hier erhalten hast, du weißt prophetisch, sie kommt wieder auf. Yes. You're fleeing before she speaks. That's so, you flüchtest noch bevor sie spricht. Yes. Okay, good. So, but the point. The main point I wanted to show this evening Aber der Hauptpunkt, die ich heute Abend zeigen wollte, was that this pattern here of Revelation 17, dass diese Muster hier von Offenbarung 17, uh, where you have beast was, is not, shall ascend, going to perdition. Wo wir Tiere uh, haben, ist nichts, uh, wird wieder heraufkommen und geht ins Verderben. Uh, can also be shown. Here. Kann okay. auch äh, hierin gezeigt werden. The so. beast was, is not, das der Tier war und ist nicht, shall ascend, wird wieder heraufkommen, goes into perdition. Geht okay. ins Verderben. So, and this is where it really goes into perdition. Und okay. das ist hier am Ende, wo es wahrlich ins Verderben geht. So, I mean, here it also goes into perdition, but it will come back up. Okay. Also so, here, here it's only a type of it. Geht okay. es wohl ins Verderben, aber es kommt zurück. Also, es ist deswegen nur ein Typus dessen. Yes, everybody follows? Can you follow? Yes. Oh, yes, then let's close with our prayer. Then let's close with our prayer.